from the YouTube Dojo. This is week now, David Ellie Mueller, and now, sliding down the slippery pole, it's Ellie K. Mueller! Ha! Welcome to week now update, I'm Ellie K. Mueller, great show tonight, as usual, let's go on to the shout out to winners, and let's get on with it. Alright, shout out, of course, to Pit Kip, of course, great cool person. Thanks for the shout out, Pitcher. Mad Chicken Eater and Wandering Enemy 226. Shout out to those guys. Keep up the good work. You know, Zeds. They're pretty cool as well. And here comes Kyokyo. He's pretty cool as well. Alright. And if you folks want. A shout out from me if you want to receive the shout out spotlight. This is what you do. As always, you stay active, you know, subscribe to this channel. You always stay active, you always comment. You know, not just uh, silly stuff like, you know, hey, I like your videos. You know, can you please check me out? Or will you please give me a shout out? That's not the right way. Alright, I want you to uh, leave me comments, you know, uh, suggest topics for my show, suggest what I should do to make the show better, even though my show doesn't have a big budget right now. You know, support me in any way that you can, alright, and also be nice to everybody, and that includes the shout for like winners, the people who are also commenting in the comments down below, and... If you do all those things, then you will receive a shout out. Alright? Now let's talk about firefighters. Firefighters need some respect from us. I mean, why do all the cops get the glory, huh? Didn't they try to end a few lives not too long ago? Come on. Firefighters always try to help you. They don't let others burn themselves to death. I mean, come on, really. In Portland, a few firefighters help a family celebrate the holidays. Do cops do anything like that? No. They only care about the people who don't fight with them. I mean, really? Come on. Are they stupid? Are the cops stupid? Come on. And, folks, let me ask you some questions. It's time for a segment on the program that I like to call, for no apparent reason, Questions of the Night. Who do you like better? A cop who will try and choke you to death, or a firefighter who will do his or her job and save you? Aren't firefighters cool? Why don't they get any love, in your opinion? Huh? And, when did a firefighter save your life? And has a firefighter ever tried to save your life? And if so, then how? Alright, leave your responses in the comment section below. Now, let's talk to MP and the book. And now it's time for do's and don'ts for regular heroes. Do help people. Don't help them to death. Do help a family celebrate the holidays. Don't get them to the curb on New Year's Day. Do be kind and courteous to others. Don't shoot them. And this has been Everyday heroes, do's and don'ts. Hey, Adam, can you come over here, please? Well, I was talking to uh, somebody not too long ago, you know, and they said that I should do a show about firefighters. Why? Because everybody's been talking about how the cops 
have been uh, shooting people lately. Do you remember the, uh, the story about the white cop who killed a black man? Oh, yes. Can you believe that? Yeah. Welcome to racist America. Yes. Yes, indeed. It was years ago, but tough luck, Yeah. We've seen cops shoot black people. We've seen cops choke black okay, people. Okay, holy shit, even but, person. But here's some good news, right? We do have some regular heroes who actually care about other people's lives. You want to know who they are? The Fire Brothers. Firefighters. Yes. Firefighters. Guess what happened? In Portland, Oregon. They started a the fire. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Adam, here's something interesting, all right? Wow. A family in Portland, Oregon, all right, lost their home, and they have nowhere to go during the holidays, right? So, what uh, a few firefighters did they farted was and they, they, they allowed them to come into the fire station and celebrate the holidays with them. So? So, that is... A manly thing to do. That is amazing, you know? Oh, wow. Saying, hey, you HM no home. Come, come in HM home. My HM home is shared by other HMs. Yeah, but come on, Adam, okay? I guess. What's wrong with helping other people out, you know? Especially what if during a stressful year like this. Alright? This year has been pretty stressful for everybody. How is this year stressful? Well, I mean, nothing happened to me. Oh, uh, wait. Wait a minute. Didn't the who exactly. won't become president? So what? What are you going to do about it? Are you going to protest? No. I mean, why would you protest your fucking president? Why would you protest your president? Why would you do that? What is your bitch about f anyway? You about firefighters? Yes. Not about Donald Donald Trump. Anyway, yeah. firefighters use use water to build fires fires, but they also um they also save people by breaking your window and. Going into your home and saving you from fire. Yeah, and remember that uh, Smokey the Bear commercial? Yes. No, only you can prevent forest fires. It if you folks out uh, there check uh, those commercials out, you honestly should, right? They're really good. What if they're two years old and they think forest fires are, are, are dessert? Well, then you're a tardy. There, <laughs> I said it. But, we're, we're, but we're talking about smoke. Wait, why would you name a bear Smokey? He, he's causing fires. Oh, no, my God. Not. Smokey. Smoke. Wait, 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 wait. When you smoke, there's a fire. Yes, that's Tell cool. me wherever he is, there's a fire. They started a forest fire. He wanted us to stop him, but no one ever came. Yeah. Really? But anyway, back to back, back firefighters. Get off topic. They save people by breaking into your... What that? By going in your window and saving you from the fire. And plus, um... Hey, at least the firefighters are actually saving lives, right? I don't know what the cops are doing anymore. They're taking the shit. <laughs> you know, they're arresting people for no reason. And they're also shooting people for no reason. Choking people for no reason. Back to firefighters. They are, they, some of them go, go on airplanes to fight forest fires. Yeah. Yes. See back in see back in Alaska, Alaska, these p pilots go 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 in the air. They they spot a fire. Wait 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 wait. wait, 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 wait
Who here? Who here sees smoke? I do. It's right there. All right. Fire the fires. Move, move, move. Jump, jump. And then they jump and they beat the out of fire. I talk about um American with water. I mean, they put the jokes up and they punch the fire until it dies. Oh, cow. Yeah. Well, let, well let's leave that to the ghetto. <laughs> Hashtag ghetto fight, fight fighters. Yeah. They beat the out of the fire, but, but for real, they do punch the fire. Yep. Yeah. I mean, holy cow. I mean, at least it's better than uh, being tasered and being choked to death and being shot by a cop. Am I right? What? Holy shit. Why are we shitting cops? I mean, was it like this a couple years ago? I think it was. But, wait. What the fuck are the cops doing? Why is shooting up this year? The fuck are you guys doing, mate? The fuck are you doing? I'm sorry. Fuck the fuck the regular topics. The fuck are you guys doing? This sh the, the sh sh shooting been up 300%. Why? The fucking cops. <laughs> the motherfucking cops. I believe it. I believe it was the first. The first of this year or September of, of, of this year. Some of the some of the cop. A lot of cops were shooting, were shooting somebody, and then they said the shooting for that month was more than the whole 2015. Which, if that's true, what the fuck, man? <laughs> the fuck are you doing? Get your shit together, cops! Holy shit, man! The fuck are you doing? You ye retarded bastards! The yes. fuck are they doing? I they know, right? They are up 300%. The fuck are you doing? That's the show for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Tomorrow night is the last weekly update episode of 2016, and we are going to kick the shins out of this past year. By giving that one last punch in the jaw. That's right, 2016 will be punched in the jaw tomorrow night. You do not want to miss that. That's the news, and I am Alex Keys. Farewell, bye, farewell.